Good morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie. Hell. We in a hurry. Okay. okay. Before we get started, we'd just like to take a brief moment to say that the opinions stated in this video are just that opinions. They are not facts, which means that they can't be proven right or wrong. And we don't want you guys to go to anybody else's page spreading hate. Because honestly, it's just not worth it. Now, we don't apologize for how we feel because that would be like apologizing for keeping it real. Love you, angels. Enjoy the show. You know, our Instagrams are almost like our videos, except for they don't talk. Some would consider that an upgrade. Either way, they're not going to follow themselves, so pop on over and give us some love. Good morning, angels. I'm Nikki. And I'm Mocha. And this little dumpster fire you're about to watch is a little something we like to call Tea Time. A channel where we like to discuss YouTube drama and all its essence. In all its dirty little essence. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And if you don't, oh well. All right, Angel, so we don't have to tell you by now. You already know that Creepshow Art was recently exposed for being a creepy stalker weirdo. Mm -hmm. And my first initial thought is that'll have shit to do with us. Like, absolutely nothing at all. But then people started asking us to talk about it. And we were just like, well, why would we ever want to do that? I mean, so here's the thing. We're from the hood. And not the way that Rich Lux is from the hood, trying to luxury product buy his way out of destitution, but actually very proud for, of where we come from. Yeah. Taught us character, integrity. Mm -hmm. We know who we are. We love it. Wouldn't change a thing. And in that kind of situation, you learn a couple of things. And one of them is when one of the homies gets popped, you don't go talking what you know. Yeah. And then it dawned on us that we're kind of in a little bit of a different situation now. I mean... <laughs> a much different situation. People see you palling around with someone. They want to know if you have the same moral compass as they do. And Shannon did give us at least, what, $100, $150 in Super Chat. Yeah. Promoted us on her channel. Yeah. Talked highly of us on Twitter. So, you guys might be thinking that we're friends or something. And we just want to come here and set the record absolutely straight. So... I guess you want to know what the story is? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, whenever the... What was it? The L.O. Cow? Low Cow. Low Cow. Whenever she was exposed on there. Like, I reached out to her and I was like, girl, I hope you're okay. Right. You know, she, like, she read it. Right. But she didn't re she respond or whatever. She did not respond. I mean, she was going to the gigs. Right. So, like, I didn't know, like, the full depth of the story. I just heard, mm -hmm. like... She was being exposed on right. there. And I was like, well, I just want to make sure you're you're doing okay. Right. And me, I was just like, that don't sound like none of my business. When it's my business, I will I was know like, it doesn't it. sound like anything she would do. And then people made it our business by continually asking <laughs> us if we were going to talk about it. Which, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's I fine. Have been. It's fine. I have been. We, we, we definitely get it. But I don't know. I just draw it back to, like, the code thing. Like, if, you know, like... I don't know much, thank God. So here's the thing I will say that sometimes when people care about you, they protect you by keeping you ignorant. And maybe we were just kept ignorant or maybe she ran a debauchery of a lot of people and was pulling up wool over a lot of people's eyes. But I mean, I feel like she was doing that because like a lot of her friends, like she was like people she was close with, like they reached out to her and was like, girl, what's going on? And she didn't respond to them either. She's like, oh, honey, the gigs. Yeah. That's what's going on. Yeah. For the record, we are not on Locale. Don't know what it is. We are not on... What's the other one? There's another one. It's Guru Gossip. Okay. We're not on there. We had a short-lived thread, but then we... <laughs> We ascended back into good graces, and we are not there anymore, so that's fine. I mean, that's always good. I mean, but here's the thing. I really didn't mind being there. You know what I'm like? Lindsay Lohan once said, the only thing worse than the tabloids talking about you is them not talking about you. Well. So, I mean, you don't want to be shunned into irrelevance, but it... I don't read Guru Gossip. I don't read Locale. I was not aware of anything it's, that was going on. Yeah, there. They bro. said that she doxxed her sister. Yeah. And they said when she doxxed her sister, she had violated some sort of community guideline. And I guess it's like a well-known fact that if you like violate the community guideline, they will like expose, expose you. you. They said. They and apparently did. she had been running afoul of the rules for a very long time. She was talking shit on like her friends okay so one thing i've learned and this is another thing 
You guys will hear us talk all the time about how we don't do group chats. We yeah. don't have too many friends in the community. And it's because we've learned through our short experience or our time on the platform, there are no friends here. <laughs> like, you guys saw, like, I, I'm sorry, I gotta call a thing a thing. And it is what it is. And like her friends or her community, they probably did what they felt like they had to do too. But the minute where her, like Shannon started, her ship started to sink, everyone was out for blood. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just like, <laughs> it's high school detective King Cade. What exactly is a friend anyway? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason we don't participate in like group chats or get too terribly close to people because you never know people's motivations. Yeah. Kind of like it would appear that we did not know Shannon's motivation. Oh, so, honey. Yeah, she was on the Lao Cow. What is that right? Lao oh, Cow. Okay, so she started That's off on that Lao Cow website and then it gets a little bit more devious than that. It because does. the story started with the, the administrators over at the Lao Cow place talking about, you know, she has several different accounts, all with the same IP. We've all tra traced this back to Shannon. Okay, cool. The but weird thing is, like, she was like... talking shit on her friends. She was talking shit on herself. She was defending herself. I was like, whoa, this is serious behavior. And then it got a little worse because this woman named Emily Artful, mm -hmm. who apparently is Shannon's boyfriend or husband, we can't confirm because, honey, we don't be up in people's business like that. <laughs> okay. Um, Emily Artful, like, freaking came out with this huge expose, like two hour video about how like Shannon uh, like started dating her ex after she broke up with him. And from that moment on, the stalking was in full force effect. Uh, for a very long time. Like 10 years. I and like, I know if you guys are like I a creep show arts fan, you may have heard her say that she had a stalker for 10 mm -hmm. years. Well, apparently Shannon liked to do this thing where like everything she was doing, like the other person would say, this happened to me and this happened to me and this happened to me. And Shannon would be like, oh, me too. Yeah. Me too. I've had a stalker for 10 years too. Oh my God, I broke my left thumb too. Oh my God, I broke my thumb <laughs> too. Like, so like apparently she did that. You guys have to watch the Emily Art from We're going to link it down below. She's going to go into way more detail than, than we, we ever could, could have, yeah. or we would dream to. Let me tell you what, I popped that damn Emily Artful video on. I was like listening to it because here's the thing that I do. It was like a week had passed. I had just gotten back from Cancun, so I was okay. like, cool. I was hearing about the drama go down, but I was like, bitch, I'm in Mexico. I'm not, <laughs> okay. I'm not doing this. Yeah, I didn't like, really. I'll deal with your bullshit when I get back, girl. So I was like, okay, so some of the steam has dried down a little bit. Let me listen to this thing. And I say listen very intentionally because I have noticed that sometimes when people are narrating a story, they'll put up pictures that tell like, half-hearted concoctions that seem to corroborate the story that they're telling but because you're listening to their voice and you saw the image your brain interprets it and as they, the like, truth. crop out like what they said exactly or, and so uh, you never really know so i was like no 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 I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna listen and see if things are starting to we were trying out. to give her like the benefit, the benefit of the doubt. Of the yeah. doubt. You know what I'm saying? Child, I got 30 minutes into that video and I was like, damn it, Shannon! <laughs> what the hell are you doing around here? Yeah. Like, this don't make no sense. Running a muck, honey, acting a, a goddamn Running a foul of the rules. So listen, go watch Emily Arful's video. It's Figure out what you think about that. I mean, at this point, every single one of Shannon's friends have turned on her. I mean, they have left her in the dirt. And I'm gonna say this, am I surprised? No, because it's high school detective Kincaid. Well, what is a friend anyway? Like, honestly, I trust so few of these girls. You remember when, like, we first burst into the community, we had, like, all these friends? And then <laughs> yeah. I was like... Like, oh, honey. You can never tell who is up to what, and then you get entangled with these people, and all of a sudden, people are looking for a statement, looking for a statement it's from you, like, and I'm just like... We didn't do anything. We didn't know all, that was happening. I didn't do nothing. Second of all... I'm Nikki from the block, which means <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't get involved with this. You are not about to bring me to the precinct and shake me down. I mean, I can definitely understand, like, why some people, because we had, like, a few people, like, you're going to talk about it, you're going to talk about it, but I can imagine, like, the people who she was close to, like, they had of it, like, all, all the, the time. time. And they were like, well, hold on, I'm trying to see the evidence, and, like, Shannon wasn't and so they're asking her for evidence, like, hey, girl. We just want to, like, give us that something. you're innocent. Like, she said, like, she's going to the police. Like, this is a big, like, they spooked her IP, mm -hmm. her IP address. 
I'm like, like, girl, like I, I'm waiting for her to come back and be like, okay, so let me. But like, I, it's not looking good for Miss okay. Creepshow Art, girl. Bless her heart. Yeah. Bless her heart. That's what I'm gonna have to say. Because here's the thing. Like, okay. And like, here's the thing too. Like, I don't want to be ungrateful. And that's the fucked up thing. I feel like either, and either. she drew a gorgeous picture of me. She did. And she does. But you know what? I feel like she didn't really like me no way. So, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Like, I don't want to be ungrateful, but you got to give me something to work with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got the feds knocking at my door asking <laughs> questions and shit. You got them, got me in the interrogation room talking about, well, I saw her on this live of yours. Uh -huh. I saw her here. Do you have DMs with her? And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, whoa. I would never expose any. I mean, anything like now y'all know. I, I feel like we can say that we are two of the downest bitches on this <laughs> platform because we have had the opportunity to air out many a bitch. Well... Like, no, we ain't gonna do that. And we haven't. We've taken the high road because you know what? Ain't no snitching me. But also, you're not about to bring us down with your yeah. bullshit. I think that's why her friends are like, well, she's not... Cooperating? She's, like, what are we supposed to do, girl? Like, all the, the evidence are against you. It's not looking fantastic. And it's not. Or good or, like, pleasant or decent. You look <laughs> like a psycho. I saw that picture. Oh my god! With the you split hairs. No, we have to tell them, you guys. So she took this like Emily Artful, like <clears throat> put out this picture where she like showed what her hair looked like back in the day. Yeah. Tell me what y'all know what Shannon's hair looks like, right? She's got that split. Half of it is like orange. The other half is black. black yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell me why Emily Artful's hair was just like that back in the day. Now, that's some single white female shit. And I was thinking, and I saw that picture, I was like, oh, shit, like, oh. girl, it's not looking good. I was like, girl, I, I gotta go home. <laughs> I gotta go home. Now, I will say that not all of her friends are out here talking about it. Well, yeah, like some people was like, well, honey, I'm not going to say anything. Because she had some real close friends that ain't said a word. I ain't yeah. saying no I'm names. I ain't shady honey. like that. <laughs> Unless you ask me. And then, no, 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 I still won't. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys like know. Mm-hmm. But I, I was shocked. Because like she hasn't been anything but like nice towards us. She's been like sweet nice encouraging like there was a point where we were i wouldn't say going through the gigs honey i grew up a black gay male in the hood, <laughs> honey ain't shit you can do on the internet that's gonna burn my motherfucking toast but you know we people thought that they were applying pressure yeah, honey they had the pitchforks and the torches okay, honey. okay what did fucking taylor swift say they're burning all the witches even if you aren't one well, um, I mean, Shannon swooped in. She was nice. She was sweet. And like, I think that is the part of me where I just want to believe like, you know what? She going to come back through. She going to come back and That's she going to prove this whole what? thing to be silly. And at first I was like, okay, we're going to give this about three, four days. <laughs> we're not going to say nothing. I'll be yeah. home from Mexico. It'll be all good. Shannon going to come through with a whoop, whoop, whoop and be like, but do, 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 do. <laughs> And then everybody who was talking shit is going to be embarrassed and we going to laugh and have yeah, a good time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Honey, Shannon done deleted every damn social media she platform. She did. Yeah. She's bye, bitches. She, she she ducked out. And then that Emily, oh. Emily's Artful's video came out and I was like, <sighs> Shannon. Emily Artful video got about 2.5 million views the last time I checked. Gosh so. darn it, Shannon. The message is out there, girl. And it's 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 loud and clear and the app, it's just not looking good for you right now. Shannon, you in danger, girl. Yeah. Anyway, angels, we want to just pop in, let y'all know what we had thought, what we had seen, what we had heard, where we stand. Now, listen, you know, if Shannon come through with the hot tea and be like, it wasn't me, I'd be willing to hear it. In fact, I want to see an Emily off Artful type of video. Yeah, saying, I mean, like, how it wasn't facts her. and data yeah. points. I mean, because Emily said, okay. I did not come to play. She put her hair back, honey. Put the the Vaseline. She said, I'm ready. She had her razor blade under her tongue. <laughs> she was ready for the fight. 
So that's the kind of video that we need to see. If you come with those sorts of receipts and tea, um, listen, bygones be bygones. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah. Anyway, Mocha, do you have anything to add? Open up that description box, y'all. We have links to our socials, honey. We have a, a discount code. Go ahead. Yeah, honey. Show it on more. Co. <laughs> dot com. Okay. Fifteen percent off your next order. You can use code T time. Okay. Uh, you know, shop here because the why good. not, honey? Why not? Amazing. <laughs> anyway, angels. Until next time, keep, keep sipping. sipping.